you there we go you can see that okay right that sounds either amazing or disgusting what the avocado or the or the cheesesteak because i was joking about the cheesesteak one but the avocado margarita is apparently really good and i do love me some avocado and i love me some margaritas so surely what could go wrong <laughs> So Megasphere is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's just a, a side-scrolling sci-fi shooter with really, really gorgeous graphics and effects. Uh, I would suggest just enjoy the the visuals and the gameplay, and just everything about this is really good. But uh, and I'm gonna boost the volume just a little bit. Boop. Let me know if that needs to change. Start new game, yeah. Platform dock. I think anomaly entrance is it's weird. It's just a cutscene. It gives a little backstory, but it always crashes my game, so I usually just jump to this one, which will also give a little bit of backstory. Avocado can make it or break it depending on the cook tender. Well, it's more like you got to get the right avocado. You got to get just the right perfect amount of ripeness. I love the lighting in this game. The way the bloom radiates from the lights. Ah, it's so good. It's huge. It is. Oh, it's responding to our ID, our queue. NORAD Aegis Cat number 2034-5705H Pakistani mining platform Geotish Joshi. This thing is old. Early 21st century. That old? Wow. Should we expect resistance? Wideband sensor scan reveals nothing, but anything could happen. Ugh. Once we land, I can't follow you, so no hand holding. Understood. Investigate, then come back. We'll get to the bottom of it. I'll continue to broadcast our ID in case someone responds. Roger, here I go, ship. Best of luck, humaniform. Green Death Dip, not guac. Green Death Dip. I'm guessing it's very spicy. Yeah. Here we are. So, pretty much everything in the game is destructible. Uh, like, every single tile, more or less. Like, there's a few indestructible ones just so it doesn't totally break. But, like, you can break the lights. I don't know why you'd want to, because they're so good looking. You can break the floor when you have a stronger weapon. And actually, oh, it did it skip the tutorial? I think it did. For some reason, I thought there was a tutorial here. Yeah, the lighting in this game, Regret Roulette, is awesome. Oh, wait, no, this is just more... This is a tutorial part that I forgot about, I guess. You're avoiding my Lisa stream because of spoilers. I do not blame you. I wouldn't want that spoiled either. Yeah, here we go. This is the tutorial part I was thinking about. Basically, you can shoot buttons. That's pretty much the whole tutorial. You can shoot buttons. <laughs> Some buttons are meant to be pushed. One thing that I don't know if I like control-wise is, is if you hold the jump button down, the character just continuously jumps. I never really liked that in games. I only ever enc encounter it in indie games, too. I don't know, not a fan. Because then if you hold it a little bit too long by accident, then you do a whole extra jump you didn't mean to do. Hey, V-Man. It's good to see you viewing again. Alright, and then that's pretty much it. Now we're... Whoa, shit. <laughs> now we're left to explore the ship at our leisure. There's a buttload of robots up there. You see those guys? I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to get up there yet. Um, so in the map, it's a little tough to read at first until you're used to it, but the gray, the light gray is an open space, and the dark gray is the non-open space, the closed space, the walls. Okay, I'm just gonna explode these. 
Ugh. And you never know what weapon system uh, enemy robots will have. Like, this guy has kind of the same type of gun that I mean. Oh, shit. Ah, I clicked outside. Sorry. It's the same kind of gun that I'm using right now. Ugh. I'm just going to try to edge him. There we go. And the green floaty bits are health. How's Texas? It's pretty good. It's hot. It's very hot. Like, I'm not used to how hot it is, but it's great. Another one of those guys up there. I wonder... I'm sure I could break the yellow canisters here. Although I wonder... Maybe I can't. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, I was hitting the platform. I wanted to try to explode this onto him. There we go. Ooh, see, he's got a crazy laser device, which are luckily pretty easy to dodge. I love the way the enemies move in this game. It just feels very organic. It's hard to predict the AI of the enemies. I'll shoot that. Oh, wait, where did he go? What the hell? He just go through the wall? Oh, a secret! Hey! And looks like we got our first item up or weapon upgrade, so I can show that. So let's see. Multiplication. So what I do here, these are my equip slots on the right. Uh one, two, three, four. I can have four of them. And I just go to my craft menu and I put it inside here, and now I can give it upgrades. Like this one, multiplication. Now it has a, a level, what, one? Or sorry, reflection. I thought it said multiplication. It's reflection. So now, my things reflect a little bit. They're, they're robots, they shouldn't feel organic. I meant like the movements feel right, I don't know. They feel unpredictable and crazy as opposed to like really predictable AI where you can just exploit like movement patterns. I don't want to blow this thing up, but I kind of have to. Well, I can blow up this one on the left. There we go. And of course, that uh, hurts you. I, I forget how much this is. It's 10 or 15 bucks. I don't remember. It's early access, though, so if that's not your thing, then yeah. Nothing down there. So right now my big goal is to hunt down enemies and collect gun upgrades for the boss that I'm going to encounter later on. And I've never beaten the boss, so we'll see how it goes past that. Okay. I do not like these spinny guys. Luckily I'm in a pretty good place to fight them. Ooh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe not at all. I'm stuck between the two pipes. Let's see, can I switch weapons? So this is like a gravity gun type weapon. I can actually rip pieces of the floor off and fling it at him, but right now, I just want to kill him. I don't think it's quite strong enough to do that on the fly yet. Alright, so this other weapon I just got, I can literally pick up... Actually, I can't seem to pick up that one. Here we go. You can pick up pieces off the wall and shoot at enemies. It's actually relatively weak, but it's nice for, like, tossing explosive barrels and stuff. Uh, I really do not like these red pipes. It's hard to tell which ones you can actually... ...can actually, uh, stand on which ones you can't. And actually, I think that gun's surprisingly weak, so I'm just gonna stick to this one. But that gun will be very useful for the boss. Everything in this game ricochets so much. It's mostly this gun because I got um got that upgrade. It lets me do it. Awful nice of enemies to show secrets like that, yeah. I would not have known that secret. You know, I could also just break my way down because I'm not liking that elevator. Let's see bunch of enemies to the left. Yeah, the effects are nice. The light trails are nice. Wait till you get the laser gun. 
or like the beam gun, I should call it. Luckily, these guys tend to either go low or high, so you can usually either just jump over them or just stand still to duck under them. God, there are three of them. That means I probably could fling them at each other. Oh god, but not myself, please. Ooh, check that out. I have like a spinning saw blade now. That's awesome. Yeah, that's actually working out really well when fighting multiples of these guys. And now I'll just launch him away. Oh, oh no, I thought he was going to go low. It seems they either aim high or low most of the time. Lost a lot of health there. Yeah, it's like a gravity gun. A beam gun, not meat. Beam. Let me know how uh, volume levels are, as always. Oh. <laughs> that guy can't get out. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, good. He was good for health. Yeah, pretty much all the environments are destructible. Almost everything you see is destructible, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, where are we going? I guess up and to the left. And I didn't get any more upgrades, did I? No. Alright, oh, I always think that those are just empty barrels, but they have acid in them. Oh, we're back up to where we started. Um, that's okay, we'll go left. Also, look at the gold plating against the wall in the background. It's like a, a big gold donut embedded into the wall. Yo, Shubinator. How are you doing, man? Uh, let's go left some more. It's a very empty hallway. Oh, wow. That's a lot of <laughs> explosive barrels. Uh, enemies up and to the right. I guess we'll go there. I do not want to blow these up. Ugh. Fuck. I knew it. And to the right. You can see what gun I'm using by looking at the icon in the upper left. Oh, he's got a flamethrower. Okay. Okay. Now I can actually use my bounce gun to kind of aim around the corner here, which is nice. That's one of the reasons why Reflection is one of my favorite power-ups. Oh, did he die? Not quite. There we go. Ooh, what's that? I don't know what that is. Oh, new. Oh, that's my beam gun that I was talking about. And it has a speed upgrade, which I think just means it charges quicker. Here's what that gun looks like. Oh, wait, no. What is this? Never seen this gun. Oh, it's like darts. And let's get rid of this guy's shield. Holy shit, that's awesome. That knockback was awesome. Oh man, I wonder how that gun changes when you put slot things with it. I'm guessing multiplication would just shoot like three of those bolts at a time. Uh, trap. Um, do I even want to go up there? I guess. Ugh, can't quite. No! Ah, uh, this is a bad path. I guess I could just shoot left. And I'm gonna launch this away. Get out of here. I guess I can't destroy that wall to the left. Let's see, can I go under? No. Oh, this path sucks. I can use that as a platform after I break this. There we go. There we go. Ooh, look at that guy. We'll go right first. Yeah, this is alpha. Isn't that crazy? 
Yeah, I, I feel like it could also benefit from a little bit of screen shake or something behind some of the guns. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, two of them, okay. There is a little bit of auto-aim, too, that kind of drives me a little bit insane. Like, right there, target the barrel. Okay, not doing so hot right now. I don't want to back up any further. There we go. Give me that health. Give me that health. Wasn't there a second one? Oh, there he is. Oh, I love that bending effect. God damn. The aiming. Look. You see how it's like not moving? Which is actually a problem because sometimes you want to aim ahead. Like right there would have been perfect. So that's one of my big gripes with the game is the auto aim because it makes aiming ahead really difficult. Oh god, he's got a rocket launcher. Ugh, I clicked outside the window. Fuck. Oh, hey, buddy. He just grabbed me, too. I didn't realize they could do that. Come on, aim down. Please. Please aim down. Oh, it's just he can't turn it quickly, I guess, when he's aiming. No, he can't turn it quickly. That was the thing. He can only turn it so fast. You can also just kind of like <laughs> gimp it like that. What we got here? Penetration. We could put penetration on our on that. Maybe it'll go through enemies. I might just hang on to it though. Oh. Ooh, that was a good hit. Ooh, he actually he actually killed him. No, please get it. Fuck. Oh god, that's... They're all gonna wake up. Okay. That didn't even wasn't even enough to stay inside of him because I just didn't charge it Ugh, back down here. These these guys, little guys will be good for health. Oh, I didn't even see him there for some reason. Oh my God, maybe these guys will be bad for health. Okay. Are there upgrades? Yeah, I've, I've been talking about these upgrades for like the last five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, this screen, these are upgrades. Multiplication. Here, let's put... Get away. Okay. Let's put... We're gonna slot our... This thing with... Multiplier. So now... Nice. So now it shoots multiples. Elevator trolled me. Yeah. Oh, that's a good upgrade. That's so good. Damn it, I wanted to get more of their health orbs. But I killed them from too far away. Yeah, it's a very dynamic game. I think that's a good word for it. And the best thing is that limo, or limo, uh, ammo is unlimited, so you can kind of just use your favorite guns as much as you want, It's nice. Yeah, that one-shots him if I get them all together. Alright, uh, 
Yeah, now I suddenly like this gun a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh god, can't aim fast enough! This is terrible. I can actually probably use him to destroy oh, shit. No! I was gonna say to destroy those blocks. Did you see that? Just fucking nailed him. I wonder if I can cancel the aim. Nice. I like this gun a lot. <laughs> Does the aiming change for every gun? Um, that one in particular is slow, but otherwise it's usually just moves at whatever speed your mouse goes at. Let's see, we'll go hunt down this guy. Okay, look down further. And you can really charge it up for a long time. What did I just get? Sensor. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. Sensor. I'll just put it into my basic gun. See what it does. Oh, I can't. I can't even do it. Uh, I can put it into my... Well, then again, if this is going to be my main gun, then I want to save that last upgrade slot for something. I'll just wait. There is homing, yeah. There is a homing upgrade. Check that out. If I just tap it. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Straight above me. Can't actually see him. Ah. Ah. I think in close quarters this gun's better because you can change aiming on the fly because they're get bound, bound to be moving around you quickly. Okay. How much is this Budeo game? This Budeo game is about, I think, 15 on Steam. Oh god, here we go again. Oh, I want to get the health. Okay, that was a bad choice. Give me the health. Please. <laughs> Look at all the darts sticking out of him. Also, I'm losing way too much health. There we go. This gun, I think, is just better for this situation. Oh, no. Yeah, those purple bullets are probably the most dangerous. The laser, the beam is probably the least dangerous because it's very easy to dodge. Um, oh god, another pile of them to the right. Look at it. There's so many. I'm just gonna slowly make a nice tunnel. Before they even reach me, most of them should die. Or not. Or not. Or not. I thought they'd go a lot smoother. Oh, cool. We did get a fair amount of health out of that. How does Spaceman crawl? He can't. In this game, you actually can't crawl. I don't think there's any situation where you'd need to, except to maybe duck under those spinny guys every once in a while. Yeah. Ah, beefed it. <laughs> I 
The thing is, if you don't charge it, there's no power, and like it would just doesn't even damage the enemy. Ooh, that was a solid ass hit. Do I prefer vanilla or chocolate malts? Um, usually chocolate. Although every once in a while I'll do vanilla. If you like that use of environment there, yeah. Okay. Come on, fight me! Ugh. Some of the fighting is just so exciting in this game. Hey there, Kaz! Oh, look at this guy! A weapon charge upgrade? I think there is one. Luckily, I think I could just pick this guy off. No, oh god, he can shoot those really fast. There we go. Give me that health. Wonderful. Look at that dumb idiot blowing up that barrel, getting himself hurt. Where's he going? Is he running away? Okay, he was just hiding. He's tricking me. Really? I can't believe all those missed. Really? I can't hit his legs with the bolts, I guess. It's funny because you can hit his legs with the uh, with this gun. No, I should not have jumped. Did he die? Oh, I keep missing. There we go. Nice. The AI is pretty smart. It will do stuff like that. Like, I'm convinced that was intentional. The way it ran away. To draw me in. Okay. Ooh, hey, buddy. Oh, no. I did not want to fall down there. the fuck up here. I dare you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. Wow. There we go. Luckily, we are maintaining health pretty well. We're not finding a lot of upgrades, though, which is really starting to bug me. Fuck. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, what? Okay. Speaking of upgrades. I think that's another multiplier. I wonder if I could double multiply that. Ooh, Grenadier. I, don't, I think I had that once and I didn't care for it. I guess it's good for getting around corners. We can multiply that as well. Let's do that. I wish this menu was a bit streamlined. Oh wait, penetrate. Oh no, I fucked up. I thought I had a multiplier. Oh well, I just got penetration on my grenade weapon, I don't know how that helps. Maybe it'll blow up things easier. Guess we'll find out. How long does each level go on for? It's sprawling. It's like a labyrinth, and then there's a boss somewhere in it. And you can actually see an icon for it. I think it's uh, the... There's an upgrade icon on the bottom left, and then to the further left is the boss, I think. Uh, get really tight. Uh. Oh. What? I don't know if this one was intentional. 
I'm pretty sure this was <laughs> unintentional. Um, at least I can destroy it. What the hell? Yeah, this is totally unintentional. Still an alpha. Don't forget. I thought it was a secret, but... However, I can just pick these guys off from in here. Pretty sure. It's weird, if you want to change quickly, or if you want to change a little bit, you kind of need to overcorrect to make it faster. Also, what's he shooting at? Oh god, he's drilling his way in. Oh, I want that health. Oh god, he could probably laser me from there. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, I gotta get through. There we go. <laughs> Oh, it was a bad spot. Well, that didn't work. Well, this is randomly generated, so I don't think it's a thing where he forgot to put it in. Although, I'm pretty sure each room is pre-designed. It's just connected randomly with random elements. Kind of like Splunky. Ooh, that was a good hit. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it is randomly generated. Um, Alright, I guess we'll start working towards that crystal. So we gotta go down left. All the health. And that guy could totally have an upgrade. The big guys like that tend to have upgrades, so I think. Ooh, did that? Oh, there's an upgrade. Uh, give it. I don't think I'm hitting him. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, what did I just get? Another grenade. Yeah, another grenade. Oof, uh, flamer. I want that. Let's put it in place. Oh, then again, the grenade could be useful. Put it in place of this. It's good for close range. And what else do I have available? Sensor. I still don't know what sensor does. Is it? No. It has to do something. I guess I'll put sensor in my flamer. There is um there is a mod for the bolts that turn them into traps where they'll emit like a laser beam and then if an enemy crosses that beam it'll shoot at them something like that. Okay, I don't know. Uh, hang on. I have seen upgrades like that before. Yeah, I don't know what that sensor upgrade did to the flamer, but. I already did put piercing in the grenade launcher. Yeah, this is good up close. Speed. Um, I guess I'll put speed in my carpenter. So I charges quicker. If I can. No, I gotta get an upgrade token to further upgrade it. Speed, I'll save that speed because I definitely want it for the carpenter. No, I, I did. I meant to put sensor in my flamethrower because I couldn't put it in my grenade thing. I didn't have an upgrade token. But um, let's see, another zapper. If I ever want to change the upgrade for it, I guess I could put the speed in this zapper. But yeah, again, I need another upgrade token. So. guy's just running. I feel bad. Actually, it hurt me more than it healed me. Ooh, is he stuck? Well, he's dam getting damaged, so... Nice. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Oh, it's actually up and to the left now. Actually, really close. 
Also, how's my voice sound? I still haven't gotten to really listen to it yet to do a proper sound check. see what this thing gives us. It's like it's, uh, it's just gonna give us the gravity gun, I think. Oh, hey guys. Okay, there are too many of them. Oh, there are so many. Oh my god. Oh my god, why are there so many? Okay, I'm so fucked. Oh my god, please. Just aim a little quicker. Okay. Did I get the upgrade? I did, but it has reflection. Gyro charm reflection. Which I think just makes it reflect off of walls. Uh, you can't really get out of areas very quickly, unfortunately. Like, once you're engaged in a fight, they're going to follow you really hard. Through a battle. What was that? Oh god damn it, why do you knock me down here? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely the best gun for dealing with the multitudes of those guys, the little ones. Oh, I can see that hole. Come on. I've lost so much health in these last few screens. Hey there, Solace. How you doing? Set guys, I just want to check something. Okay. Yeah, yesterday's stream was good. I'm sad that the Lisa sequel is gonna end up being so short. Um, I could head toward the boss now, I guess. if I do it fast enough then I'll have a chance to switch games too. Which I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about doing Kud. Although I'd have to get the raffle system set up because I do have some keys to give away. Am I playing Lisa after this? Probably not because I'm going to get avocado margaritas later. There's an upgrade directly below me. Can I go around this thing? Gotta be way down there, an easy way. I guess to the right. And there aren't any enemies along the way, so. Gotta get those Ritas, man. Yeah. Then maybe I'll do a drunk stream later. I don't know. Okay. I think I went too, too far. Oh no, that's not an upgrade. That's just where I came in. Uh, that's okay, I'll head toward the boss. Which, the boss, I think, glitched on me the last two times I tried it because I would get him down to his last health, like, really easily, and I just couldn't kill him. Like, the last health would not go away. Where are we going? Straight down, more or less. Actually, maybe I can dig through. faster. Actually, no, let's use the grenade to do it. Uh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> nope. There we go. OK. 
Okay, nope, that was bad. Oh, I'm s I keep hitting it. There we go. That's where I want it. Yeah, grenade launcher's nuts. Uh, a dud? Dud! Yeah, that one. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I'll destroy the the launcher. Actually, no, that'd be bad in case I ever do want to get up there. Oh, he actually shot it straight down because of his idling pose. Alright, I think we're good. Hey, buddy. Oh, uh, grab him. Grab him. No! 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 Not ready. Oh, fuck. Oh! I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. Please don't die. Well, please, the acid. Oh, I couldn't do it. What? Land on it! Please land on the platform! God damn. Oh. Got a little morsel of health there. Damn it. So bad. And look at all the enemies up there. I mean, I could go up to them and get my health back, potentially. If I play it really cool. Really cool. Really cool. Actually, this is good because they'll, that platform will catch the health. And they're relatively easy to dodge. It's relatively easy, easy to dodge their move the window. Um, there are bullets in this shaft. In this shaft. Nice. This is working out. Help farming. Come on, guys. I don't know if I want to do three of them at once. Yeah, that's probably bad. Hey there, EZD. Glad that you could tune in. Yeah, these guys were awesome for my health. Glad I did this. Wish he hadn't exploded right on me. What are you gonna do? Uh, down into the right now. how far I can get doing that actually. Man, I don't like any of these paths. Maybe after this I'll stick with the sci-fi roguelike theme and play some of this game called Duskers that I got a key for. Oh, uh, I just get another... Okay! Came barreling out of nowhere. At least those guys drop tons of health, that's what I like about them. Don't even want to fight them right now. Upgradable. Please? There we go. Yeah, the map is pretty huge. Yeah, this is much safer. Hope 
that guy's gonna follow me down here. Ooh, just hurt myself, interestingly. Okay, now I'm pretty much stuck here. Hurt myself a lot. Oh, I don't know if I can destroy that wall there. Oh, I can. Good. Oop. Oh, explosions. A Tau Fire Warrior? What? <laughs> I still love this gun. I think it's my favorite. Yeah. Do some kind of upgrade. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Stuck, maybe? Yeah, his arm seems stuck in something. Oh, maybe not. Not anymore. Unconquered fun. Eight months in a row. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm actually going to be streaming full time until I actually manage to find another job. Because moving left me unemployed. So until then, you can enjoy the streams full time. Five days a week. I'm thinking three or four hours each day. It'll be good. Because, of course, i got to spend at least half of my days actually looking for a job. Which I don't think it will take too long, but you never know. Kill him. Down, down, down. I just want the health. Please. Oh, no. I couldn't get over there. You'll have to become a full-time stream watcher. And of course, needless, and you know, I hate the whole, like, monetizing side of everything. I always feel really dirty talking about this kind of stuff, but uh, while I'm streaming full-time, any and all contributions are very, very much appreciated just because it helps, it helps pay the bills during this time while I'm looking for a job. Of course, there's no obligation whatsoever. I'll never do, like, sub-only chat or anything like that. Ooh, we found the boss. But an extra big thank you to anyone who does want to help out. Yeah, I always feel awkward talking about this stuff. Like, I just, I never know how to phrase anything. And I feel like the way, the best way to actually do that and succeed is to be more shameless about it. Like, I feel like talking about it shamelessly is more successful. Like, we'll get you more subscribers and donations, but I just, like, can't do it. Just die. Just die. I don't even need this upgrade. Yeah, I'm about an hour earlier than before. Central time zone. So, like, I guess the streams will be later if you live to the right of me. Yeah, I guess later in general, if I'm streaming around the same time. I do not need this thing, because, of course, I, I've learned this last time, and yet I fell for it again. And I didn't even need that upgrade, that's the worst part. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Once one starts exploding, they'll all start exploding. Oh, this is terrible. No. Lost so much health. I had so much health, and now it's gone. Ah, <sighs> man. It's okay, KY. Everyone understands that unemployment smells bad, so no one thinks that you're greedy. 
Yeah, I hope so. I like, guess the last thing I want people to feel. But I'd be lying if I were to say that uh, that it helps a lot. Like even just like the littlest things. Um, I guess I could go to the boss now, which I think is down into the left. That or it's just a checkpoint independent of a boss, which I've never seen before. But it's honestly starting to look that way. Wait, no, no, this is totally the boss. Because I can see the button over there. Or maybe it's a different boss than the one I'm used to? I don't know. Okay, this is awful. Okay, I have no <laughs> idea what's going on. At all. I'm gonna die. So bad. I'm going over here. What is that bouncing thing to the right? Is that an acid barrel? Yeah, it was. Oh. The glitchy effects are cool, but it's so hard to recover out of it. But, I did just get my checkpoint, so I can use that to respawn exactly once. Oh, but I forgot, my game has a glitch where I'm frozen in the checkpoint until something comes and hits me. So unless something comes and hits me, I'm totally fucked. I don't know if he's aware of this glitch or not, I gotta tweet him or something. Because this happens to me every single time. But, that's that. Um... Do you guys want me to switch games? I'm thinking either... Well, I was going to do Caves of Kud, but there's a couple things I would need to set up. One is, like, the giveaway, because I want to give away some keys to it. And the other is the mutation voting, because I was going to let you guys vote on my mutations. Another game I wanted to show, I guess sticking with the sci-fi roguelike theme, is called Duskers. Where you control drones through console commands to explore, uh, like, abandoned derelicts in space with of course threats and shit and you need to learn to like flush out the threats in any way you can so i don't know case of Kud sounds swanky if if i do case of Kud, it'll be 10 15 minutes setup time so uh, if you're enjoying the channel make sure you follow so you can catch all the streams especially now i'm doing this full time for a little bit so yeah, drones on a spaceship, or Caves of Kud, but with a little bit of setup. Up to you guys. Play wherever you want, you're here for the commentary, stream whatever. Um, I don't really feel like doing the setup, and I only have maybe, maybe one more hour or so. Maybe two if you're lucky. I could do some Duskers, I guess. Can't decide, oh no. Well, I'll show you a little bit of Duskers. I don't even know if Duskers will be a good streaming game anyway. So if, if Duskers is proven to be pretty boring, then I'll do, um, I'll switch to Kud. How about that? Yeah, Caves of Kud is a traditional roguelike where you mutate. It's cool. I'm not talking about Nuclear Throne. Although I do like Nuclear Throne. I do have a PS4, yeah. I've been uh, playing Phantom Pain off stream. Been enjoying that. Yeah, at least I think a lot of you will enjoy Duskers. It's just really tough to explain all the time about what's going on, but I'll do the best I can. All right, so I'll be right back.